In this video, I'm gonna share with you five tips for buying comics on eBay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you five tips for buying comics on eBay. Now, last week I made a video that shared with you five tips for buying comics in an LCS, but I figured I should do one about eBay because eBay is a totally different ball game altogether. Uh, these are things that I've learned over the course of participating in the hobby and buying comics on eBay. Uh, I really should call them lessons because they're all lessons that I've learned. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna call them five tips. But before I get into that, if you guys could drop me a like or a comment or subscribe, if you're enjoy my content, help me out with the channel, uh, love interacting with you guys, keeps me motivated to make videos, and it's just great talking to everybody online. So if you could do one of those things, that'd be awesome. Um, so with that being said, let me get into tip number one for buying comics on eBay, and that is going to be take advantage of best offers. Take advantage of best offers. Okay, well, what do I mean by that? Well, if you guys don't know, there's different ways to buy comics on eBay. One, you could win a bid. Two, you could buy it now. Or three, you can make an offer if the seller actually allows for that. So let me just show you really quickly online here uh, what that looks like. Now, let's just say uh, I wanted to buy a random comic. I don't know. Uh, Tales of Suspense 85. Here we go. I, I have no idea what this comic book is, but let's pull it up. All right, and, and if you search for it, you'll see it right here. There's gonna be multiple listings, right? There's a buy it now for $20, and here's a, another buy it now for $20, and here's a, buy it, here's a buy it now that says, or best offer. And this is something that I wanted to point out to you guys. If you go in here and you click on it, you can actually go here and make an offer. So this, this um, seller is asking $14 plus shipping, but I could go in here and I could say, hey, I would wanna offer you $15, and I could review offer and send that to him, and you know, depending on uh, the seller and depending on um, you know what what kind of thing that you're offering if you're offering something reasonable um, they might accept that offer so instead of you know just impul impulsively just picking the first one that you see as a buy it now and paying like that maximum price if you see one that has a best offer you may as well take advantage of that now you, you shouldn't try to necessarily lowball someone but you know if if it's a listing that's been online for a long time maybe the seller's happy to get rid of it so definitely take advantage of those best offers every time you see them all right Tip number two now, which kind of relates to the best offer thing, is going to be watch items to receive discounts. Watch items to receive discounts. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Well, for those who don't know, uh, there's a feature on eBay that you can watch an item if you if you decide to do that. And if you're on the seller side of things, when someone watches your item, you can actually send them a an offer or send them a discounted price. And a lot of times, I think, um, sellers want to do that because it's a good way for them to sell that item or to tempt someone into actually purchasing it if they get a watcher. So for instance, let me show you online here. If I were to go to eBay, uh, this, this is my eBay account, so I get a little bell notification. So I got an offer from this book right here. And, and I'll show you, show you that. This is Tales of Suspense, number 65. Um, the, the price as listed is $49 and I followed it. You know, I added it to my watch list. And I received this offer this morning, which is, you know, 5% off this, this person's willing to sell it for forty six fifty. And this is kind of a cool thing because, um, this specific listing did not have a best offer available to me. So now, now that they've offered me something, I can actually make a counter offer right here and even go lower. So, you know, when you, when you start following items and you get these, um, you, you add them to your watch list, not only are you opening yourself up to receive offers, but you're opening yourself up to be able to make an offer, which is really great because some items don't have listings that allow you to do so. So, uh, you know, if, if you have a book that you're after, a, a very specific one, I, I would encourage you guys to, uh, you know, pull up the list and then just add and watch every single one of the books that you feel is, um, you know, the book that you're after, the grade that you're after, and just watch all those items, and then allow those sellers to offer you a discount if they if they will do that. And you know, if you just wait a little bit and give it a little bit of, of uh, patience, which I will get into later, uh, if you give it a little bit of that, uh, you might you might get a really good deal. So. That is going to be tip number two: is watch stuff for discounts. All right, tip number three now, and tip number three is learn the bidding game. Learn the bidding game. Okay, so what do I mean by this? Well, this is probably the not only the most important tip I'm going to share with you in this video, but also the most um, sort of elaborate in terms of all the things that you need to do when learning the bidding game. So, number one, generally speaking, 
bidding is going to be more financially efficient to get a book than a buy it now is because if you find a buy it now at a good offer uh, at a good price someone's going to buy it so so chances are you're going to have a harder time finding that now for bidding Typically speaking, bidding is going to be the best way for you to get the um, best book at the lowest price because um, because of the way that the nature of the, of the setup is. If if, if the, you know good deals for buy it now is, get swooped up like that, so most of the buy it nows that are left over on eBay or linger on eBay are ones that are asking a little over FMV or you know just are 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 not in in a good shape of a book or something like that. So. You got to learn the bidding game. Now, what does that mean as far as learning how to bid? So let me let me show you guys something right here. So, if you were to go into eBay, <clears throat> and I was just to search, um, if I could get my computer to load, yeah, here we go. If I was just to search, uh, let's say Tales of Suspense eighty five, right? And we're looking for a bid. Actually, let me do something different. We're gonna go Silver Age, and we're gonna say Ending Soonest. Right, so here's a couple of things. This 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 particular listing has 15 minutes left. Right, this is a bid. So we see that there are six bids here. Right, and this has 15 minutes left. So if I wanted to place a bid, I could click on this button, place a bid, and I could add what I felt. Um, you know, maybe the next incremental. I could just you know, go bid 14 dollars, and and then I could be the next bidder in line. But Typically speaking, that's not really how bidding works on eBay. What people do is they end up bidding with like three seconds left and they bid and and they bid a certain amount of dollars that they're willing to pay for it. So let's say that with these two books, I knew that I was willing to spend $21, right? I, I, like I felt that that was gonna be fair. I was gonna spend $21. What I would do is wait until this clock ticks down to like three or four seconds, I would enter $21 in here and I would bid that at the very, very last second to try to beat everyone else in, in bidding. So this is something that is really important for you guys is you gotta learn the bidding game. You gotta know um, if you're after a specific book, know how much you're willing to spend on that particular book, know what price you have in your mind and put that number in the bidding slot and then wait till the clock ticks down and hit that bid at like, three seconds left or two seconds left, depending on if you have fast internet, definitely you need fast internet for that. So you are you wanna try to sort of slide into home base, so to speak, uh, with your bids. And typically speaking for books that are very, very competitive, you know, sometimes it'll it'll linger. Like you'll see uh, like, you know, an early Amazing Spider-Man and, and it's hovering around a reasonable rate for like, this whole time you're like, oh my God, this is a steal. This is gonna be like $100 cheaper than, um, than, than the FMV. But what ends up usually happening is right at the very last second, that thing gets bidded to, to you know, crazy, crazy town. So you have to know the FMV of a book. You have to know what they typically go for and you have to have your number in mind of what you wanna spend on it and be prepared to bid that at the very last second. So uh, one more little thing with, it, with the learning bidding game, if you guys are after a certain book or you have a you know certain book in your mind, like let's say you know everyone has uh, X Men number one on their on their Grail list, right? But not everyone's ready to buy that. You should be following X Men number one bidding and just watch it and get a feel for for how much it jumps, you know, at the very last second, what these things typically go for at what certain grades, and just get a feel. It's like it's like if you play baseball, you know, you, you want to just get it, you want to go to the batting cages, you want to get a feel for that speed. You just want to feel the pitch going past you so that you can have your timing with your baseball bat at, you know, right right on point. So that that's something that you gotta you gotta learn is learn the bidding game. And if you learn the bidding game, that's gonna be the best economical way for you to get um, books for the best value. All right, so with that being said, let us get into tip number four now. And tip number four is going to be, don't tunnel when bidding gets high. Don't tunnel when bidding gets high. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Well, it, you know, if you're, if you're bidding at the last second, that's one thing. But let's say that you are following a bid over the course of the week, you know, a lot of times uh, bidding has like a seven day uh, period that it, that it is. So let's say you see something, you see an early uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one, you really, really want this book and you follow it uh, at the beginning of the week and you know that there's six days left until uh, this thing uh, gets, gets sold. So you're following the bidding, right? Like each day you see it kind of jump up a little bit, someone bids more, someone bids more, someone bids more, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, and you start to build an emotional attachment to this item that you're watching. You start to feel like, oh no, it's, it, you know, it's going away. I, I need to win this, I need to win this. Um, well, what I'm saying is, is don't tunnel on listings or biddings that you're following. Don't tunnel on it because 
uh, there will always be sort of another book. And not to mention that, there might be a better deal on the table uh, currently, like a better buy it now. I've seen a lot of times where there's a book, right, that has bidding going on, it keeps going up, it keeps going up, keeps going up, and it's maybe like a raw book. And then meanwhile, there's a CGC already buy it now listing that ends up actually being cheaper than this raw book that's being bidded on. So you're better off just buy, buying the CGC if you're willing to spend that price already. But people really, really tunnel on these on these bids and they, they wanna win. You know, you feel like you wanna win or you don't wanna let it go if you get outbid. But what I'm telling you here is don't do that. Don't tunnel. Always check wherever the bid is, wherever the bid number is, what uh, the amount that's at. Always check to see, okay, well, what are the buy it nows? What are the comparables? What are some of the CGC you know, if it's a raw book, what are some of the CGCs that are out there? You know, maybe it's better economically for you to abandon the bid it, the bidding ship and go to one of these, you know, buy it nows that are already listed. So don't tunnel on books. Don't tunnel on books. All right. And that's going to lead me to tip number five, which is the last tip. And that's going to be a big one, which is have patience. Have patience. All right. This kind of is, you know, a little bit in line to my uh, don't tunnel tunnel tip, but but have patience eBay is, you know, it's a huge market on eBay and there will always be another book. That's something that I've learned. There will always be another book. Don't have FOMO. Don't, you got to have patience. If you lose out on that one bid for that one item, don't worry about it. There's going to be another one that comes along. There's always another one that comes along. And for that reason, don't, um, don't, feel like you have to overspend on something in that moment because there will be another book that comes along at a better price. Uh, this is sort of like the opposite of what I feel like when going to an LCS. With, when you go to an LCS and you see an opportunity um, at a good deal, I always say to jump on it. But on eBay, you got to play the long game because there will always be better deals eventually. There will always be more books eventually. And books also cool off. You know, if, the, if there's a hot book on the market on eBay, just wait a little bit, you know, like a, a Star Wars Ahsoka book or something, just wait a little bit. And there will always be one that pops up later on for a better deal. So anyways, those are my five tips for buying books on eBay. Hopefully those guys, uh, you guys, you, hopefully you guys found that, uh, you know, informative or helpful. Definitely uh, keep some of those in mind when you go out and hunting. And and hey, let me know. Do you guys have any tips of your own? Do you guys like to buy comics on eBay? Or are you guys more of an LCS uh, uh, comic buyer or maybe you guys don't use eBay. Maybe you guys use uh, one of the other platforms. Let me know what you guys do. Uh, drop me a like or comment or subscribe if you enjoy my content and I will see you in the next video.